action. Uh, hello, Nathan. Um, my name is uh, Terrence, and I'll be interviewing and asking you just a few questions about Pokemon Go. Is that fine with you? Mm, Nathan? Oh, oh, uh, sorry about that. Um, what was your name? I have witnessed many terrible illnesses in my career as a therapist, but never have I seen something as bad as the Poke Addiction Syndrome. I've seen many people do mindless, dangerous, and even illegal things because of the app, such as committing robberies, crossing borders, and even falling off steep cliffs. But one of the more uh, severe things that the app can do to you is influence you to change your identity. One of my patients, Nathan Lee, had a severe case of Poke Addiction. He changed his name, referred to other people as Pokemon characters. For example, he called me Professor Oak. He couldn't go 20 seconds without checking his phone for Pokemon, and he even ditched his friends to go catch creatures on a screen. Ever since I downloaded Pokemon Go, it has completely destroyed my life. I still remember days when I had a social life, when I hung out with my friends every day. Now, I go off finding Pokemon all day long. At first I thought it was everyone else turning against me. And then I realized it was the game. I really want to get better. That's why I went to Professor Oak to get help. Nathan is a very talented and brilliant person. But after he downloaded the Pokemon Go app, he disregards everything he needs in his life. His addiction with Pokemon Go has gotten so bad that he even ignores his parents' phone calls his teacher's emails, and anything that is important. Last week, I asked if he wanted to hang out, and he sent me a picture of him trying to catch a Pikachu in the game. After he sent me the picture, he sent, can't you see, I'm busy. I actually have a plan to help Nathan overcome his addiction, but I don't know if it'll work. How was the interview? How'd it go? It went, well? Okay, here's how this is gonna work. Give me your phone. No. You want me to help you overcome this addiction of yours, right? You gotta do as I say. Give me your phone. Try me. I'm gonna take away your phone, and at the end of the week, I'm going to decide whether to return it to you or not. You understand? Sure, Professor Oak. Remember, I'm not Professor Oak. Nice to see you again. Sit down, please. So, Nathan, how was your week? Yeah, um, Dr. Pine, I, uh... This oh, one... I see I'm no longer Professor Oak. And yeah. you're no longer Ash, right? Yeah, I got over Pokemon Go. Can you tell me how your symptoms first progressed? Well, at first, I felt really dead. And without my phone, I felt helpless. And when I woke up in the morning, my phone wasn't there to greet me. And whenever I went outside and talked to people, all I could think of to talk to people were, where are the Pokemon? Where are the Pokestops? I knew I had to stop this, but I just couldn't help just not thinking about Pokemon Go. But then, two days ago, I thought to myself, what has this app ever done for me? All it's ever done was give me crazy leg cramps and making me walk a lot. And that's when I decided that I'm going to look up from the phone and start interacting with people. Wow, that's, that's great, Nathan. You know, I've seen some fantastic improvement from you this week which is why I've decided to give you your phone back. Wow, sweet. Thanks, Dr. Pine. I couldn't have done it without you. It's my pleasure, Nathan. Thank you. I feel like a new person. Poke addiction is a serious problem. If I can be cured, so can you. We shouldn't spend every day with our eyes glued to the screen catching virtual monsters. Ever since I have been cured from poke addiction, I rarely check my phone. I've learned to appreciate the beauty in life. What? It's a great game.